It's, uh, it's funny how things work out sometimes. As you probably know, I've been riding quite a lot of different stuff recently. Um, and I thought it was about time that, you know, I went back to my roots, dug the old trials bike out, and put like a little fun trials edit together. You know, because that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. So the place where I started riding was, uh, you know, an old working quarry, you know, like a long, long time ago. I was actually quite surprised when I went back. It was just horrendously overgrown. So I had to do quite a bit of work, you know, brought the uh, secateurs out and the axe. I uh, had a little bit of a clear out session before I could actually, you know, ride, but it felt like I was pulling like the, the layers of history back off, you know, found a couple of little uh, mementos. There's a pretty huge history of motorcycle trials in Yorkshire. I rode motorbikes for quite a while, and I guess that's where I got a lot of my, uh, you know, my style from. But, you know, for some reason, I don't know why, I've always enjoyed, you know, I've got more fun out of riding push bikes. So I found a pretty cool line a while back and uh, it's sort of been at the back of my mind and you know, I woke up one morning somewhere out and I thought, you yeah, know, go give it a go. Yeah, it was a pretty pretty hefty gap jump out, but you know, it wasn't it wasn't beyond the realms of possibility and you know, there was there's obviously danger there, you know, it's on top of a cliff, you know. First couple of goes weren't actually too bad, you know, I was like I was just just a bit under geared to be honest. So on the final go, like, you know, I changed my technique a little bit, you know, I pedalled into it, um, just going to freewheel and then bunny up last minute, you know, with plenty of speed. Fucking hell. You alright, Chris? I'm one. But I guess something happened, you know, I must have, like, hit a bit of a lull in the grass. I remember last minute losing speed came up short, landed um, right on my guard, uh, which sort of, like just all oh, my bike just sort of went sideways. I basically jumped off backwards, um, thinking that there was a nice lush, you know, patch of grass to land on. Um, unfortunately, I missed the grass, uh, landed right on the edge of the cliff, and um, yeah, next minute, hit the ground 
pretty goddamn hard. Um, that was just a, just a real big bang, and then you know all of a sudden I was like on my side. Um, I rolled a little bit, and then I it just felt really uncomfortable, so I tried to move. And at that point, I knew you know I was in a bit of a bad way. Um, it's taken a little bit of a hit. Probably come down a hell of a long way. It's not good. I think this is going to be the start of a long, painful road, but you know, I've reached a limit, I think. Good night. I'm done. It turned out that I'd, you know, badly broken my left femur uh, and my right radius. So basically, like, you know, they, they took me into surgery that evening, uh, best part of five and a half hours. Uh, they put um, a rod down my, my femur from top to bottom, screwed that in place, uh, and also screwed um, my uh, radius back together. You know, I, I've been riding a lot of years, and I consider myself pretty good at, like, being able to judge speed and, you know, like, how certain things are going to react. And... Uh, there's just so many variables there. I mean, at the end of the day, it is just an educated guess. But, you know, you know what they say about guesswork. <laughs> <laughs> uh.